Right, so today we are going to put this bed on struts, like I was saying. That's my four struts. I've, I think four is too, too heavy duty. They're huge. Um, basically, this bit of wood here just slots across here. I'm sure you've seen it before. It sits in there, bother. It's not warping. It's a you know a real thick piece of ply. Um, once a mattress is on, it kind of spreads away out evenly anyway. I uh, got rid of the mattress because it was too big, it was buttoned up against here, rubbing. I mean, this is all unfinished. Um, obviously, once the mattress is in, it's kind of at this level, so you don't see any of this wood underneath. But So the idea is two of these struts, and I've got one here. Um, like I said, I was going to go for four and lift the bed straight up, but to be honest, I think they're, they're just too heavy duty. I can push them down slightly. So they're not the most powerful. I mean, they're they're pretty soft. They're you know, um, and they also they'll they'll oscillate well. If you see there, um, basically the bed will be sitting on this flat top piece. I was trying to think which which end to put in, but I think I'm going to have to bolt that down there. Uh, put the probably put some kind of wood under the bed screw it down from the top and then screw this into it um, it's gonna be the idea anyway and then I can't push it with one hand like this but the bed will come down and it's gonna to have to be hinged at that end unfortunately um, I didn't really want to do that <coughs> but I think I'm gonna to have to look at that at all that lip needs pushed back in that's been rumbling about so Ah, that's the next bit. Um, I might not even hinge it, I might just let it sit. Because it might actually want to drag up and down. I don't know how the, how it's going to work. It's going to trial and error. Uh, but I'm going to have to have some kind of bolt underneath to, to keep it down. Um, it's the feeling. What a horrible day. Miserable. We've had this crappy weather now for like two weeks. Um, <clears throat> I've got all the paint for the van. I've got a uh, two-part acrylic paint. It's like it's like Upol Raptor line but it's gonna be it's, it's called Meepa. It's the same stuff basically. Um, it can be rollered on but I have got a spray gun. Uh, it's just finding the right weather. I mean that three weeks I was four weeks I was furloughed where there was like 20 degrees every day well not 20 but 18 19 20 most days that would have been perfect but i didn't actually have the paint at that time and i'd only just kind of covered up all the rust in the van anyway so so that's today's little job the van is minging absolutely needs a hoover out it's just yeah all this needs to be painted as well it's going to hit it be painted and prime uh, or primed and then painted because if you look here this is an expensive type of uh, ply with a laminate on it. It's for doing concrete shuttering, um, and nothing sticks to that. That is, I don't know whether well it's laminated, but nothing will stick to it. So I don't know if I'm going to have to rough that up or what. Because uh, I, I did paint these bits. I mean that looks quite good, but you can see. Look at that there. That's just a little scuff. Stuff just peels off. So annoyingly, going to have to do all this again. Um, I mean, not all of it's coming off. I don't know why. It's just if it gets scuffed, it starts to come off. Um, also, if I pull it like that, it comes off. There's another bit down here. It happened a while back. I could give it a second coat and hopefully it would stick. This side's the same. And then it peel off. It looks absolutely rubbish. Uh, that's not too bad, right enough. I mean, maybe give that another coat as well. Maybe it just needs to be thicker coats. <coughs> anyway. Van's wide open, getting some fresh air for a change because it's been sitting there, uh, baking in the heat. Although my little solar solar vent up there, he's actually whizzing round today. See if you can hear him. Might even be able to see it. I can't really see up there, but that he's he's taken out any uh, moisture that lingers in the van, and it actually does a really good job constantly. Just although there's never been any moisture because it was all insulated properly, so. Um, but it just another peace of mind thing, you know. Uh, other than that, 
know what else I'll do today. Um, I'll get this done first, see where we are. I, I did have a bit of an idea. Uh, so here, now because the bed's out, like I can walk right through to the, you know, into the living area. So I was thinking, maybe hinge this. Um, it's probably gonna have to be hinged in the way, that way. Uh, and then have, I've got a, one of these plastic storage tubs and just for a bit of um, extra storage because we've got no storage for like clothes or things like that. We normally just have a suitcase and just live out the suitcase but that can be quite annoying. Um, so I was thinking drawers and storage, you know. I'm kind of wasting this boot area to be honest because there is no bikes in it at the moment. Um, I don't have a motorbike. I built this area for to take a ZX6. It's the right length. Uh, hence the reason I wanted the bed to raise so I can wheel it in and out. But I sold that bike. Don't know when I'll get another bike. I've got a trailer. If I ever need to take a bike with me, I can just throw on a trailer. So, so waste of space. I'm gonna obviously you can these these are storage cupboards, but that's gonna be stuff like for my ground sheet. Um, you know, just bits and bits and pieces that you you need when you're on a site or when you're camping out somewhere. <coughs> Got two uh, ornaments out there. One full canopy with a door and, a, and, a, and sides and everything, and the other one's like a just basically an awning, um, like a half canopy. Uh, uh, that's great in the hot weather, but I tell you, if if you ever get rain or cold weather, you need to just to keep the heat. In. Um, so yeah, so here have this hinged so it can swing back that way. And then have this little tower, which is they're quite good draws. I mean they're they've got to be six, eight inches deep. Um, have that kind of positioned here with the drawers facing that way, so we can just open that into the drawers, whatever we need to shut this again. So I might take that off. Um, that's the table strapped in there from over there, but basically it's it's only held on by I think I've got two screws down there and three down there, so. That might be the next thing, just have that on a hinge um, so it opens up and we can get into closed storage. Yeah, so that'll be the next one. I'll, uh, I'll show you what I've done with this once I get a little bit done. All right, guys. Right, so <coughs> that's the, the bottom of the struts. Basically what I've done, I've just screwed them right into this corner post because that's really thick. Um, I tried to bolt them through there, but that's too thick and I can't get this off, it's like a a locked nut. So that should do it, that's given me oscillation that way. And I mean it's pretty strong, I should be able to push it down, no bother now. Yeah. Ugh. Tell you, it's, they're pretty strong like. Oh. It should go all the way down but that bit there is hitting against there so that's that so next bit is to get the sheet up back on and see if it'll raise and lower and then maybe find some uh, like deadbolt kind of attachments or clips or something to hold it down because it's going to be under pressure all the time um, but yeah that's worked out all right down there I mean it's not the, the prettiest. I'll give it a paint later on. Um, so both sides. So that should work out good. So let's get on with the sheet. Right, that's the sheet back on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have to keep it up like this and uh, try and attach the... What I'll do is I'll sneak down and then come back up with uh, the two rams. Just to see what happens here. Hmm. May not be as easy as anticipated. Right, there we are. What's going on? This wood seems to have either warped from sit sitting or Tight fit, never used to be this tight. I don't know what's happened. Um, maybe walk from heat, I don't know. Right, let's push this up again. Let's see if I can get a hold of a ram. Uh, right, here we are. 
so I'm going to have to find the ideal position uh, for the ramp to go up and down. That's not ideal actually because that's right over a cupboard door. Just here you see, it's going right over the face of that cupboard door so probably going to have to go in about here somewhere. maybe even uh, about I want to try and get it in line as much as I can I'm probably gonna have to where are you come here I'm probably gonna have to cut a baton of wood and put that under here first um, because obviously the ply is only three quarters of an inch deep and if I want a decent hold with screws and things, um, I'll get, I've got four holes there so I can get four screws in. I haven't got any small bolts or washers, is it, which is the problem. Um, yeah, it's gonna have to be screws. I think I might cut a baton of wood, six, eight inches long either side, just to give it that extra bit. But that's, once the mattress is on, have a look up here, there's still plenty of headroom. Um, once the mattress is on, I mean the mattress may may come up to ceiling level, but there's still at least 12 inches there. <clears throat> I don't know whether I'm going to hinge the bottom end or just leave it sitting. I mean, I can't come out of this what it's sitting on, so I, I think a hinge would be a waste of time. Plus, I want an opening. Uh, we were on about that down there for access. That's the next job today. We'll get this rattled through first. But yeah, that's that's going to work well long as the, the ram is completely straight in line with each other and there's enough room for the lip you know the, the back side of here so the lip sits back on the this piece sits back on here without affecting anything that should work it's just trying to gauge where it's going to land once it's down is quite difficult um, yeah, cool. I think sneak and get the other one. That's it. So I'm gonna have to ah now turn this round. And that'll be number two. Somewhere about there. Um probably have to give it a slight measurement, make sure that that's In line with that. Let's have a look guys. Come down a wee bit. So that's it there. Uh, obviously Lieber struts came off my machine. Heading for the scrap. The fit was nice enough to give them to me. I think they're perfect. Perfect size. Once that's bolted in or screwed in it, or if I can find bolts I'll bolt it down. And then I've got a grab handle, big handle that I'm going to put here to pull it down and then we're going to have to find some kind of locking mechanism to just to make sure that it's, <laughs> although probably when, when the mattress is on top it might hold it down but for now I haven't got any weight on top of it. Um, I think I'm going to go for that, yeah I'm going to put a couple of bolts in either side. Right so the wood idea, wood idea is not going to work. Um, when the ram's closed, I've just lent on the board, one fell down, they're not attached. So I was going to put this in, but then that becomes too thick for the ram closing. The ram's at the perfect height for closing with thick, because obviously it stops here, so you've still got all this to it. And then that, it's just too much. So I'm going to have to either find some bolts or have the baton on top which we may or may not feel in the mattress I wouldn't I don't really want to do that um, so that's the next conundrum I'll go and look for some bolts see how I've got any